Do you want to feel better about your outfits without shopping? If so, this is your video. I've got five simple steps to feeling better about your outfits without spending any money. Hi y'all, if you've never been here before, then welcome to my closet. If you have been before, then welcome back to my closet. Let's get started. I've chosen the most basic pieces I could think of to start this video to walk through the five steps in creating a perfect outfit every time you get dressed without spending any money. And that's just simply a white t-shirt from Anthropology and dark wash cut from the cloth jeans. This foundation could create many, many different outfits. But the first step to creating an outfit you love every single time you get dressed is to choose a mood for your outfit. My personal style is classic with a twist. The twist in my world is the mood that I'm choosing for my outfit for each day. And let me tell you why this is the number one step to creating outfits that you love. If you choose all of your pieces with one single mood in mind, then everything's going to look cohesive. And that is the foundation of an outfit that you're going to feel comfortable in, that you're gonna absolutely love. So today, the twist that I'm gonna put on my classic style is elevated. Kind of that quiet luxury look, that's gonna be the mood of my outfit today. The first step in creating an outfit that you absolutely love is just simply define the mood for your outfit. This sets you up for success because as you're making those choices of what to add to your outfit to go on with your day, you are making them from a cohesive, chosen mood. Elevated outfits that you feel comfortable and confident in are cohesive. And by sticking to the mood when you choose the pieces for your outfit, that ensures that you stay cohesive in putting your outfit together. The second step to creating an outfit that you feel comfortable and confident in is prepping your clothing pieces. That's right. Regardless of your style, or regardless of the mood that you've chosen for your outfit, pieces that are fresh and clean without wrinkles are going to help you feel more confident. And they're simply going to look more elevated than pieces that are not well taken care of. The second step in elevating a basic outfit is to just make certain that the pieces that you are going to wear are in good, clean, fresh, unwrinkled state. The third step to elevating a basic outfit is choosing your accessories. For instance, this chunky heeled moto boot certainly sets the tone of an outfit but it's a much different tone than this stiletto would set for the outfit. Even though both are interchangeable within an outfit, they create very different tones. And because it's a little chilly and rainy outside today and I've got to get out and do some stuff, I'm gonna choose this really classic styled riding boot. It's got a low heel, so even though I'll be out running errands all day, my ankles will be happy because I'm not in a high heel. It's a flat boot, so that's another thing that's gonna make my ankles really, really happy. And it's tall and that's just gonna help keep me a little warmer and keep my feet nice and dry. The riding boots are the first accessory that I'm going to choose for my classic quiet luxury outfit today. Let's get these on. All right, with my boots on, the next accessory I wanna add is a belt because I think a belt just gives a more polished, elevated look to a basic outfit. So even though I'm wearing very basic clothing, I'm gonna add a belt. And I'm simply gonna add a brown belt with a gold buckle that matches the gold zipper on the boots. I'm gonna do a little front tuck here on my t-shirt just because it helps to define my waist a little bit and that helps me feel more confident. And I think all these little styling tweaks in your outfit, something like a front tuck, really elevates the look of your outfit. All right, so I'm off to a great start, but it's chilly outside so I need a third piece. A third piece really affects the tone of your outfit as well. For instance, this cardigan is nice and warm and in the color scheme that I'm working with but it's a little bit more casual than I wanna to look today, so I'm not gonna wear the cardigan. Instead, I'm gonna replace it with a blazer. Choosing the blazer over the cardigan better suits the mood that I set for my outfit at the beginning of the video. The blazer looks more quiet luxury than the cardigan does. Had I chosen a more casual mood for my outfit today, then the cardigan would have been a better choice. Keep that in mind when you're elevating your basic outfits that you really do stick to your mood. That is just one more example of how sticking to a mood helps you elevate your basic outfits. Now the fourth step to elevating a basic outfit is choosing your jewelry. And because I wanna stay consistent and because I want that elevated quiet luxury look, I am going to stick with all yellow gold tone jewelry pieces today, except for my wedding set because it's in white gold. And I'm not gonna not wear my wedding set because it's in white gold. Now, you can absolutely mix metals, even in your more elevated outfits. For instance, that's why I chose this watch because it has both silver and yellow gold metal tones in it. And given that I do mix and match so often, it's a perfect choice for me today because I don't have a yellow gold tone watch and I wear a watch every day. So I started with my wedding set and my watch. I'm gonna add a bracelet because I love bracelets. It's probably my favorite piece of jewelry. So I have this yellow gold bangle that I'm gonna add. Simple, but beautiful, I love it. And because I wanna keep the lines of this outfit fairly clean, 
for my elevated quiet luxury look, I'm only gonna wear one necklace rather than a layer necklace look. I love the look of layered necklaces, but I feel like just a single necklace with a pendant is more appropriate for my outfit, better suits the mood that I chose at the beginning of the video. And I'm gonna choose this D. Louise chunky link necklace that has the freshwater pearl on it because I love pearls. I think they're just absolutely stunning. Anytime I can add a pearl to my outfit, it's a win for me. Now I just need earrings. Today I'm just gonna go with these smaller little gold tone hoops. They don't compete with the necklace. They coordinate well. I have to have earrings on if I'm gonna feel like I'm dressed. Now I'm gonna check the mirror and see if I need any more styling tweaks. I'm happy with the way the shirt looks with the front tuck. I always like my sleeves pushed up because I love to wear bracelets and I wanna see them. Plus I feel like it just gives a little zhuzh to an outfit even that quiet luxury outfit, if you if you just kind of push up the sleeves and give it a little flair, if you will. The last thing I need to choose for the day is a handbag. Now, if I wanted to go really, really conservative in keeping with my quiet luxury mood that I've set for the outfit, I would go with something, a structured bag like this because the outfit is so structured. It's got the little gold chain and a shoulder bag and you can see it matches incredibly well. It's a great look. However, all this structure in one outfit is just not my style. I like to create outfits that have a little bit of tension in them. And in fact, I've made a video all about the tension that I feel like you need in an outfit to keep it interesting. And I'll link that video here if you wanna check that out. Tension in an outfit is the key to keeping an outfit from being boring. While I do want to elevate my basic outfit to that more quiet luxury look, I still want a little bit of tension and, you know, just a little pop of color because this is not the most exciting color scheme. Although I love neutrals and I wear neutrals 98% of the time, it's just not a super exciting color scheme. So I'm going to go with this dark red Teddy Blake bag. It has gold hardware and it has a gold chain that matches all the other jewelry I've got going on in my outfit. And while it is a pop of color, it's not a bright, loud pop of color. It's a very subtle pop of color. And if I'm going for that quiet luxury look, I want a quiet pop of color. And this is it, this is my whole outfit. However, there is a step five to elevating your most basic outfits. And the last and final step is probably the most crucial. And that is simply to wear your outfit with confidence. Because this exact same outfit does not give that classic elevated luxury look if I walk around in it like this. I'm not feeling very good about myself. I'm feeling very inconfident or if I'm picking up my nails or if I'm doing all of those things that you see somebody who isn't confident in who they are and in how they look while they move through the world. But when you lift your gaze and you move through the world with confidence in an outfit that you feel great in because you've taken a little bit of time putting it together and you follow the steps you need to follow in order to create an outfit that authentically feels how you want to represent yourself to the world today, that confidence just naturally comes so much easier. The more authentically you live in the world, the more confident you're naturally going to feel. And confidence is absolutely the number one most attractive quality of any outfit ever. I don't care who you are, confidence is the key. Now that's it. The five steps, choose the mood or energy, whatever you wanna call it, that you want to display in your outfit today. Step two, prep your clothing pieces so they're fresh and clean and not wrinkled. That will definitely help you to feel more confident. Step three, choose accessories that support the mood that you've chosen to carry in your outfit today. Step four, add a little polish to your outfit with some jewelry pieces. But of course, keep that mood in mind. Step five, don't be afraid to show the confidence that you have in the outfit that you've created today. Before we go today, I've got one more thing that you just absolutely have to know. If you're just kind of starting to get into your wardrobe and get more interested in all these wardrobe things, especially if you are going through a major life change that requires your wardrobe to change with it, something like retirement or even going back to work after being home for many years, know that doing this and going through this process takes some practice and it doesn't have to be perfect every single time. Practice is what makes it perfect. And so if you spend some time doing this, practice it several times a week before you know it. This whole process of putting together an outfit will become secondhand and you'll be able to do it in minutes, like, you know, probably two minutes, maybe, maybe five tops if you have to iron something real quick. Practice makes perfect. So if you don't get the hang of it at the very beginning, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. You can always practice again. I suspect you got dressed today. You're going to get dressed again tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that. Think of all those opportunities you have to practice elevating the most basic of outfits because the more you practice, the better you will be at it. 
Thanks so much for hanging out with me for a few minutes today. It's been great to have you back here in my closet. If you'd like to hang out for a few minutes from time to time, I do hope you will consider subscribing to the channel if you want to. If you don't want to, don't worry about it. You've got an open invitation to come back and hang out anytime you like because I will be here, well, you know, probably here in my closet, but maybe somewhere else out in the world making videos. And I'd love to have you come back and hang out from time to time. If you have a few minutes today, you wanna hang out with me here in this video? If not, no worry, no harm, no foul. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.